Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. How is everybody today? Say hi when you guys are hopping on. If the red live's up in the corner, you're hanging with me right now. So say hello. Hashtag hey girl, hey down below. If you're late and you're catching the replay, just hashtag tardy. And thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and follow. It's the simplest way to help me out. You don't have to purchase anything. Um, we're just going to pop on some makeup on this rainy day. Bye-bye, Gray. I colored my hair today. I couldn't take it anymore. So I stopped yesterday and uh, got the stuff and it actually came out all right. So I'm impressed. I was like, I don't have time to be going to a salon right now. So it's done. Gray's gone. I feel so much better. Um, it looks a little healthier. So I figured let's hop on now and do some makeup and complete our look for the day. So say hi when you guys are hopping on. I'm Sharissa Knight. I am a licensed esthetician. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. Licensed esthetician here in New York State. We're just going to do some makeup. Um, I'm going to go ahead first and throw on my serum from um, using my foamy system. Hello, hello. Say hi when you guys are hopping on. Just going to take a little bit of this. No contacts again today. I'm trying to get some new ones again. And honestly, with this weather, I'm just not feeling it. Ooh hair out of the way. Girl is white. I don't have any kind of tan or anything anymore. It is gone. I might have used a little too much of that serum. Oopsie, oopsie. Any plans for the weekend? Happy, happy Friday. All right, let that soak in. I probably should have put my contacts in, but I was being lazy. All right, we'll just take the rest of that serum and put it right into our hair because we don't want any frizz either. All right, I'm going to go ahead and share this real quick while you guys are hopping on. And then we're just going to go ahead and get started while this sets into my face. <clears throat> Say hi when you guys are hopping on. Take a little bit of this. If it wants to open. Hello, hello. Hi, Eric. Good morning. All right, we're gonna share, and we're going to put ourselves together. Honestly, it's the kind of day that I just wanna sit back and watch like Netflix and scary movies, but we got an adult and it's real life, so not today. All right, we are all set there. We are shared out. We're gonna use one of our new um, eyeshadow palettes that I got in, well, new to me. They're on the site, but I just got around to getting the rest of them. Say hi when you guys are hopping on. Okay. We're going to close that out and we are going to go ahead and get started. I got serum right in my hair, so now it's sticking everywhere. All right. Um, that did do some moisturizing, so I'm just going to use a little bit of primer because we are really not going to need a lot. Let me close this first. Not going to need a lot of it. All right, what is everybody doing today? Prom your face. You can thank me later. I have a lot of people that say, well, my makeup's not laying right, or this. One, it could be the wrong shade. Two, it just might be if you're not using primer. If you're not exfoliating, all of the things. It all starts and goes back to skincare. You gotta do skincare first, and the rest will get better along the way. We're just gonna drop that on the ground and leave it down there because I'm not picking it up. We will get it afterwards. All right, let's do some CC cream today. I was going to do the Luminous Serum, but I'm going to keep it pretty basic, probably. Maybe focus a little more on our eyeballs. Okay. We're going to just go ahead and get this on, and then we will go ahead with a blending bud and press it in. So I'm just going to take some of the CC cream, put it right here on my brush. I'm 
and we're going to cover up any redness, any discoloration we don't like, all of the things. I got no music on today, so Facebook can't block any of my video. That's so annoying. It's like you would think nowadays all the concerns is what music is playing in the background. It's absolutely ridiculous to me. Absolutely ridiculous. You pay for subscriptions and everything else, but you can't listen to it because God forbid somebody else hears it live, they'll block you. I'm like, craziness. All right, so that, even that small amount, get it in your hair because that's fine too. Covered up the grays and the blonde part, but let's just add it back into our hair. Why not? Good morning, Natalie. How are you today? It is hot up in here. All right, I need to brush that out of my hair. I'm like, now I made it look like I have white hair after I just colored it. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I guess I should have uh, been a little more careful. I'll just kind of blend it through. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I'm going to just pull this out of my way for like a half a minute because obviously your girl can't function today. Functioning 101. It's not happening. But at least the grays are gone. Bye-bye, Gray. All right. We're just going to pull this back for a hot minute because, like I said, after just dyeing it, blow-drying it, it's hot up in here. Okay. So I did a quick layer of medium CC cream just using this brush because I wanted to kind of get a little bit of a base. I'm going to go ahead and take my blending bud with just a little bit more. We're going to press it right in. I did not come up as far underneath my eyes because I'm going to go in with a different shade. And I don't really want the dark underneath and then try to get the light on top because then that might make it look a little bit cakey. And we are trying to avoid doing that. But my skin feels amazing. I'm exfoliated. I shaved it the other day. So very smooth. I went on my lid anyway. I guess I wasn't doing what I said I was going to do. All right, and I'm going to take the light CC cream. I haven't even had that much coffee, and I feel like I've had a ton of coffee today. It's ridiculous. I feel like I'm just like, everything is like quick, quick, quick. I'm like, I didn't barely have any coffee. I didn't even finish my one cup of coffee that's here. So, I don't know. I must be just like excited that my hair came out and that it's Friday. Get out of there. You don't belong there. I mean, we could go with that. That sounds fine. It's always a good reason to be happy for Friday. Even though majority of what I do is from home, I still really like Fridays. <laughs> All right, so I'm just pressing the lighter underneath my eyes because this I want to be lighter and brighter than the rest of my face. we're just gonna press it in and now we look like we kind of have our life together I'm just grabbing the excess that's around the outside and we'll add that in too what is everybody doing this weekend Natalie your food yesterday like always looked phenomenal it made me hungry and I ended up ordering Chinese food <laughs> I was like, I'm not cooking. Last night was just like, uh-uh, not happening. Okay, I need just a teeny bit more. I'm just going to take what's on the outside of the medium shade. And I'm going to kind of go through little spots that maybe need a little bit more. Like I said, everything is going to stick to my forehead now. Uh, this is what I get. I wasn't paying attention. Thank you, Fall Times Cook Time. Absolutely. I've been doing a lot of crock pots already. I love doing crock pot meals. But yesterday wasn't one of those days. Yesterday was on, oops, I forgot to even like really take anything out. And then I didn't know what I wanted. So Chinese food did the job. Okay. Now we're all like not red, not looking all crazy. If you missed the craziness, just check the beginning of the video. Oh, let me make sure I'm 
make sure these are the right. Okay, medium and light. So that's what we used so far. Medium all over, light underneath the eyes. Oh, I got a new brush. Where did I put it? This is what I get for throwing things around over here. Here it is. All right, you guys have seen me use this before. I know we have a lot of brushes. I just like the texture of it. It's a wet and wild brush. I think I got it. You can get them at pretty much anywhere. Walmart, dollar store, everything. I just like the shape of it. Let me show you. And they're super soft. And I wanted to get um, another brush that didn't have any product on it at all just for using um, underneath my eyes. So that's what she's for. So we're going to go in with 01. It's just the perfecting pressed powder. I'm going to just dab into this get rid of any excess and I'm just going to kind of brush it right where we put that light shade. It's just going to kind of keep it all in place and it's not going to go anywhere. It's locking it in. Locking it in. I'm going to go with shade 02 because I think 04 might be a little dark. And we're going to just grab a large brush like so. And we're going to set the rest in place. You don't have to do this. It's an extra step. I'm just mattifying it a little bit more, um, especially just because it's rainy and gross outside. So I want it to really stay in place. I'm also going to grab a little extra. And we'll blend it all down. All right. We look like a, a normal person now. All right, hold on, I gotta get off my foot. <laughs> it's falling asleep on me. All right, we'll fix that mess up afterwards. All right, what should we do today? Anybody have a preference on your on my eyeballs? I'm thinking that we should probably go in with the Vice Brown palette because of our colors we're wearing today. That would be probably the very last one that I'm going to open. Actually, I think it was the first one. Vice Brown. I was thinking we could use these shades today. Maybe go pretty well with what we have on. today. We're going to use this on our face. We're going to use this on our eyes. You could also use these probably on your cheeks as well, but we'll, we'll save that for another day. All right. Half of my brushes are one on one area, half are in another. It's fine. There it is. Looking for this one right here. I'm telling you, the more I clean up, the more I can't find anything. Anybody else have that problem? It's like putting something in a safe place so you know where it is, but you forget where the safe spot is. Yeah, that would be me. All right, so this is the brush that is out of um, the Pro set. It's soft. It's kind of angular a little bit. And I'm going to use this with this darker shade on top. We're just going to press this in right here. So we're just giving ourselves a little bit. See how that just like slimmed up the face? Hold on to your pants. We're going to blend it out. First, you got to make yourself look like you get that, got dirt on your face. I want you to come over and give my old face a lesson. One day I think it's good. Next day my makeup sucks. Um, are you... Um, sticking with your skincare pretty well. Have you exfoliated? I went through that last week where my makeup, like nothing that I put on, um, was like setting right. So I did a really good exfoliation. Um, 
you could try that. Uh, let's see what else could you do. Um, but yeah, I'm more than help. We can definitely chit chat, and I'm more than happy to help you. We can do a a one on one sesh. Hello, hello. Say how many guys are hopping on. I'm gonna blend this right up into the hairline. Maybe with my hair being a little darker. Maybe, just maybe. Yes, and watching your videos. Oh, aw. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, no, I can definitely help you. Sometimes it's just literally changing it up. Um, I switched. I don't ever have a problem with the BB cream and CC creams. Um, I did, however, have to switch up. Um, and I was just trying to mix like different things to make sure it wasn't too heavy and keep it light. But I can definitely help you out on that. And we can do a session to see um, what we can do to help resolve that for you. More than happy to help. Hi, Emily. How are you? All right, so I'm just going to add a little more right here to deepen it. Don't worry, guys. We haven't blended it out yet. We're going to. We're going to. I promise I won't forget. Have I ever forgot to blend before? Way back in the day, absolutely, because, you know, didn't think blending was all like that important. You know, to put it on and just, no. Mm, mm, mm. Nope. No, ma'am. Say hi when you guys are hopping on. Okay. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, same color out of the um, Peach Bite palette, and we're going to sculpt out our nose a little bit. Why? I don't know. Maybe it'll make it look a little slimmer. I don't know. Why not, right? Make it look like it fits our face. Everything else has some bronzer and uh, contour. We might as well contour our nose. Why not? Okay, now we're gonna blend. I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush from before. And I'm very lightly, I'm hardly pressing. It's barely touching my skin and just give it a little, little dusting and it's gonna blend it right in. So we're gonna go from a harsh line and we're gonna just soften it right up. I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm going to pull it upward because I don't want the product to come down. I want the product to go in the direction that you're kind of pulling it towards. Like if you're doing like your lashes and you want them to be more cat's eye, you're going to pull them more to the side rather than straight up. Same kind of thing when you're blending out your makeup. I really should have put my contacts in today. Sorry, guys. I was lazy. Hi, Danielle. Good morning. Okay, so see how that softened it right up? It's not like a harsh line anymore. This hair man, I tell you, doesn't matter what I do. I could make it purple, red, orange, yellow, but hey, at least guess what? It's not Christmas yet and that tinsel be gone. Hi, Penny. Good morning. How's Georgia? Are you still in Georgia? How are things? I hope better. You have been in my thoughts. All right, so I'm not going to blend that anymore. Oh, I see a piece of hair. Oh, it's attached. Not anymore. It's gone. She gone. Okay. Isn't this the cutest cup, by the way? My friend Carolyn and I, we constantly find different, um, like, friends things, and we give them to each other, and she gave me this for my birthday. How you brewing? Because I love friends, and I love me my coffee, so I thought it was super, super cute. I'm going to grab the peach color right here, and I'm going to grab this one, which is not the same one I used underneath my eyes. Can you see the difference now in the brush? So this I use for my blush, and now this is going to be for, like, my light shades for under my eyeballs. I'm going to add that peach. It's just going to give us a nice, soft, natural peachy cheek. Peachy, peachy, it's just all peachy. I need you to help me with my makeup. Thank you. I will help everybody. You guys can always message me. Like, if you have any um, certain questions or if you're not sure of something to use, don't ever hesitate. You can message me. I'm answering messages and stuff all the time. I love it. So, it's not a hassle at all. All right. And see, even up close, it's very smooth. I didn't do a full coverage. I got to obviously do my brows still. Um, I didn't do a full coverage, but it's very soft. It covers. It does what it needs to do. 
I call it enhancing your own skin because it literally just oxidizes to your own skin and it makes you feel like a million bucks. I also probably feel a little bit better because I actually finally did something with my hair, which let's take down for a minute before it gets stuck. I went ahead and <laughs> had it kind of straight, but that kind of defeated the whole purpose. It was too hot. What do we think of the new color? It's pretty much like the color that I had underneath and I got rid of all like the extra, the sun blonde because my hair always lightens in the sunshine. So it'll probably still continue. You can see there's some highlights still kind of through it and I'm sure as I go on, they'll pop through even more because that's usually what happens usually what happens but I couldn't take the grays anymore I was like that's it I'm done I can't handle it so I stopped yesterday and uh I know I should have gone to a salon but girl ain't got time for that not today and I'm sure people are just so busy and I don't want to wait like I've already waited long enough and then I sat there and I was like why am I trying to see how long like my natural hair color coming through I knew what it was I was like I don't really know what I was trying to do oh thank you Natalie I really have no idea what I was trying to do, but for some reason, I was holding off as long as I could without putting any color or something on my hair, and finally, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, enough is enough. All right, let's do our brows. Let's do them. We're going to use a mono brow. Possibly. Possibility. All right. I'm going to grab this little angled brush, also from that same um, brush set, pro brush set. I was like, what, what's the word I'm looking for? That's it. Maybe my problem is that I need more coffee. It's a possibility. You know what coffee I need? It's probably because I didn't get my Stewart's coffee. And if you guys have been watching my stories at all, I am obsessed, like literally obsessed right now, with the maple French toast coffee at Stewart's. So if you guys have a Stewart's, you need to go. It's not in a pot. It's in one of the ones that you have to press down. This is how I personally like it. And then the girl the next day, she will, I walk in and she's like, you got me hooked. I made one and now that's all I keep drinking. So I put, I get a medium, sometimes a large, but I've been doing a medium. I leave it about this much from the top. I fill it with French vanilla creamer. And then she puts the Cool Whip on top, or the whip, whatever you call it. Um, it's absolutely freaking delicious. So, in case you needed something new to try, that's what I recommend. That would be my choice. My girlfriend, Chrissy, messaged me yesterday, and she's like, I got that coffee, and it's so good. So then she called me this morning, and she's like, so I went to Stewart's again. I was like, yep, it sets in. All right, we're just going to... Fill these bad boys in real lickety split here because I'm not going to take a lot of time on them. But we still need to get a fill and that hasn't happened yet. Actually, I need to call her again. She's a busy, busy lady. But I'm ready for my fill. Ready for my close up. Make it as straight as possible. Not too shabby. Good morning, good morning, and say hi. See them. If somebody wants to tell me brows aren't important, look at what this does to my eye. Awake. Like nothing. Eyebrows are important. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. If they do, tell them to come talk to me. Because I think they're important. The other day I was so busy I didn't even have time to do them and honestly I didn't even feel completely put together. Okay, eyebrow one, complete. Where's the brush? So tell me what everybody's doing this weekend. I think I need to go. Is apple picking still happening? I need to do that again because I'm all out. And it was fun. I would rather buy them fresh and pick them myself, literally right off the tree. 
my grandparents, um, when I was younger, had an apple orchard. I don't really remember it all that much because um, I was little. But they also had an orange grove in Florida. So when they were in New York, my mom said that they always had um, an apple orchard. And then she, I'm sure she helped at it. And then when they moved to Florida, because my grandmother, I remember her telling me the story that she's like, we went there to visit and I told your your grandfather that that's where I wanted to be. So he said, okay, and we moved there and they lived there from then on, like forever. Um, that's where I was born in Florida. So I love the warm weather. It's like, it's like in my soul. It's part of me. Hi, Kitty. Oh, we have a visitor. He's been looking out the window because the neighbors are doing some sort of renovation or clean out. So he's been watching them out the window like it's his job. But I guess he decided to stop and hang with us. I don't know if this will turn. There he is. That's as far as I can get it to turn. <laughs> he's just sitting there hanging out with us. It's just chilling. Sunday in the 60s for weather. Ooh. See? I knew it. I started to swap out my clothes. Indian summer, here we come. That's my goal every year is having, Indian, well, actually my goal every year is for summer really not to end and for winter just to like go away. I'm not, I'm not ready for this snow like at all. I don't like it. It's pretty, but it's pretty enough that I don't mind looking at it in a photo. I don't ever need to see it like in real life. I'm good. However, I remember when my sister-in-law had never been in snow and I got to experience that for the first time and that was awesome. And also very confusing because to me, I was like, how has anybody not ever seen snow? Well, I guess because she had lived and grew up in Texas, Texas didn't have any snow. <laughs> not the case anymore. I remember one year my brother sent me a photo. They had more snow than we did. Oh, I just made a boo-boo right here. Oopsie. How do it a bug? What? I can't pat you right now. Jesus. My good Lord. He's like, I don't want you right now. I want to know what's going on outside. Yes, amen to that. Well, how many years ago was it that we had 75 degrees on Christmas? I want that again. I'm pretty sure we're due for it. All right, sorry about that. Brows always take me a few minutes because you got to concentrate. And I get sidetracked <clears throat> super, super easily. <laughs> Story of my life. Where is my brow gel? Brow gel. So I'm ready for... We went to see... I'll never forget it. We went to see my parents for Christmas. And they live... Um, I grew up in Oswego. They live in Fairhaven now right on the water. And it was so nice that we both left early. We went up. We stopped and got something to eat. We went to the beach that's right down the road from their house, the Fairhaven Beach. And there were little kids that must have gotten their Christmas presents early um, because they were riding, like, their bikes and tricycles and all that. And it was the day before Christmas, and it was 70, I think 72 or 75 degrees out. It was the best time ever. I was walking on a beach in upstate New York on Christmas. That's probably the only time in my life that that's ever happened. And I always say, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing with this hair. I always say, I just, someday I'll end up on the beach. Like that's, where do you want to spend Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? The beach. What do you want? Everything's the beach. Just want to be on the beach. I like to be near water. All right, we got this beauty right here. All right, I'm going to use the brown as my transition color, a.k.a. like a base color on the bottom, and then we're just going to kind of play from there. So I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. And I'm going to start on the outer corner and kind of just blend in a little bit. <clears throat> T 
타라. I'm doing like a circular motion to keep the product right here where I want it and then I'm just blending it over and the transition color is good because when you put something on top of it it's gonna kind of do that like peekaboo and it also gives it something for it to kind of set on and I love these little trios because you can wear any color alone you can mix them together it's really whatever your little heart desires. Yeah, a little more on this one. And then we're just going to blend it out. Just blend it. Like a so. Kitty, you're being really silly. Silly, silly, silly. He like lays over there and wants me to play with him and pet him. And I'm like, yeah, I can't do that right now. <sighs> Not a happening. All right. Do we want to go with this one that's a little sparkly? Or do we want to go with the mauve color in the center? A or B? A or B. <clears throat> any preference, any preference? B. B it is. And then we're going to use one of our new nudes today. All right. B. This was B, right? <laughs> I'm like, did I hold it this way? I'm like, yeah, I did. This was B. <laughs> Losing my mind, I tell you. I tell you. All right, I'm gonna just grab a flat brush. Dude, what are you doing? Would you please stop? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Get your paw off there. He's putting his nails into the. Okay, thanks. <laughs> One track mind. I told you. Like, at least if anything. I'm honest. <laughs> People are like, uh, you're this or you're boss or whatever. I was like, I know. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> like, duh. Thanks for letting me know, though. <laughs> like, oh, you know that too about me? Awesome. All right. So we're going to just grab that color. We're going to just pat it right onto the brush. Just pack it right in there. I think I said pat before, but I meant to say pack. Which of? And we're going to just press that right on here. Kind of come in like halfway up. Oh, she pretty. It's a pretty color. Dude, would you stop it? So just kind of press it where you want it and then just blend it in. Press and blend. Bend and snap. Anybody know what it's from? Bend and snap. Everybody should know what that's from. Bend and snap. It's all about the bend and snap. If I'm not referencing songs, I'm usually referencing movies. All right, I'm gonna take the same blending brush from before and we're just gonna blend this out softly more or less the top part to just kind of blend the two together because I want that color to pretty much stay where I put it Does that makes sense uh, you don't belong there I don't even know where that came from just give it a little blend All right, let's take this color. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, and 
we'll take this small brush right here. Very pretty color, perfect for this time. Yes, yeah, so perfect for this time of year. This is a really, really nice color palette, especially for anybody who really wants more neutrals. Vice Brown is 100% gonna be a palette that you're gonna want. <clears throat> Um, the other one that I can't wait to try next is this one. Those are like all up my alley. Love me anything like purplies and pinky colors. Really, really love purples. One of my favorite eyeshadow colors to wear. Believe it or not. All right, so I'm going to dip into this color right here. And we're going to kind of just... Oops. I'm not gonna bring it all the way over, I don't think. I don't know yet. Actually, you know what? I think I will. I'm just gonna trace it right underneath the brow. But I'm gonna stop it right here. I don't want it to come all the way down to the corner because sometimes, sometimes I just don't like it. I guess that's the easiest thing to say. Just depends on the color that it is. And I'm gonna also pop a little bit in the corner. And what I love about these colors, is they go with like pretty much everything. For the most part, pretty much everything. And once again, we're gonna blend. We're just blending them together so that there's not really a harsh line. How we doing? How you doing? All right, I'm gonna go in with some mascara, or not mascara, eyeliner. And then I'm gonna come back and put one of these colors underneath my eyes. I gotta check the time. What time is it? Ooh, we got to move quick. We're going to go speedy speed now. Should have did this before I did my makeup and I forgot. Guess what? It's okay. Okay. I'm going to take that same small brush. I'm going to dip it into the brown. And I'm just going to swoop it underneath. So it might look a little crazy for like a second or two, but once we put our mascara on, it'll all be fine. <clears throat> a little spinny spin. We need to set our face. Give it some love. And we are going to pop on some 3D mascara. It's quick, easy. I'm going to grab this shade real quick here while this is setting. And give ourselves a little highlight. You know what? If your cheekbones are showing, collarbones, cheekbones, Jesus. For the love of it, people are probably like, what is wrong with this girl? It's just everyday life. <laughs> Welcome. I'm going to grab this real quick, and we're just going to just on a little bit because your girl is white, and we want everything to blend. I just don't have a tan anymore, so fake it till you make it. Just do it. All right, we're going to go in with mascara, and then we're going to go in with a lippy. I'm going to go in with Rose Flame, number six.
You can see my eyes are changing color. How weird and cool is that at the same time? Just thought I'd share that with you guys real quick. I was like, oh, look at that. They go from blues to like greens. They just do what they want. Sometimes I catch it and sometimes I don't. And today I just happen to be looking and I'm like, oh, it's like more blue down here and see that green ring is kind of coming in. So crazy. So crazy. See, now it doesn't look so crazy with that color underneath. Once you get your mascara on. Really liking this palette. <clears throat> and then we're going to go in with the new nude 06. No lip liner today because I lost track of time. Best texture ever in a lip gloss. And ta-da! Look at that. We've got a whole look. We're all put together. Feels so good to have the new hair color. Yay. All the things. So we used um, the Trio and Vice Brown. And then we used the face palette in uh, Peach Bite today. All right, guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you see this video, all I ask is that you please just give it a like, a comment, and if you would like to share it, that's even better. Um, but even if you just see it, just say, hey, let me know you were here. Give me a thumbs up or something. Super appreciated. Um, and it really, really helps me. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great Friday. Um, I will pop back on soon. But I will try to remember to take an after photo and post it. And I hope you guys have a great, great Friday. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.